Hello, welcome to another Warrior Engagement Navigator Pointer. In today's pointer, we will be discussing how to re-register your student organization and get involved. Every academic year, you must re-register your student organization. Let's start off by logging in. Once logged in, you will see the homepage of Get Involved and the memberships that you are a part of. On the top right corner, click on the waffle grid-like button. Select Manage. From here, you will select the organization you wish to re-register. You will then be taken to the organization homepage. If you scroll down, you will see a blue button that says re-register this organization. Click on the button, read through the registration instructions. Remember that once your submission is approved, you will be the primary contact of the organization. Click the blue button that says next. This is where you will either update or add general information, websites, social media, contact information, and any additional information that is relevant. Please note that this is contact information for your organization, not your contact information. It will be publicly displayed. Once done, scroll all the way down and click on the blue button that says Next. Here you can see your current organization profile picture. If you do not have a picture or would like to update it, click on Choose File and change your organization's profile photo. Once done, click the Next button. For this step, you can select the categories that your organization belongs to. Here you will select interests that represent your organization. Note that both categories and interests are important for those looking to join an organization. Now read over the highlighted instructions. It is important to know that all entries and invitations must use the WSU Access ID or the person invited will not show up on the roster. Check I understand and click on the next button. In step seven, you can review and add new members and assign positions. Remember that you are required to have one president and at least two total participants to have a student organization. You can also review your roster and change position assignments. Once you are done, click on the next button. In step eight, you will have to submit your organization operating agreement. All fields are required. This information should be saved from a previous registration. After you click the next button, you will need to read through the university policies and check off that you have acknowledged you have read the statements. You will then click next and be taken to the review submissions page. You can go back to any part of the submission process and change anything if necessary. Once you are done, click submit. Your registration will be reviewed by the Deans of Students office and you will receive a confirmation email when approved or denied. If denied, please review the comments, make the necessary changes, and then resubmit. And that wraps up how to re-register an organization on Get Involved. If you have any questions, please contact the Dean of Students Office at 313-577-1010, and they will happily answer any additional questions. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow us on all our social media platforms and visit our website for more tips and tricks on how to stay engaged and get involved. Go Warriors! Go Warriors.